With the pandemic easing and the CDC no longer recommending masks indoors or outdoors, businesses are grappling with whether to require proof of the vaccine from employees and customers alike. For the first time in a year, COVID cases are down in all 50 states and more than 60% of adults have gotten at least one dose of a vaccine. New York, ground zero during the height of the pandemic, recently announced those vaccinated no longer have to wear masks or social distance. The bottom line is if you're vaccinated, you have more freedom. But some say it's still too soon. I'm gonna keep the mask on. I'm not taking any chances. Some companies also not taking chances, implementing what is called vaccine passports. They would require people to show evidence they're vaccinated before taking part in events or entering certain buildings. The Malt House restaurant in New York's Greenwich Village is a prime example. So when the guests come through the door, it's gonna be the first question that we ask, are you guys vaccinated? Can you, can you just show us a quick bit of proof? Um, and then essentially, if you guys are happy enough to take your mask off, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, I'm gonna have all of my staff um, who have been vaccinated make sure that they show up with the passport on hand. A number of red states are moving to prevent businesses from making this move. Florida, Texas, Georgia, Iowa and others banning vaccine passports, citing privacy concerns and freedom as the main reasons for the ban. Government should not require any Texan to show proof of vaccination and reveal private health information just to go about their daily lives. That is why I issued an executive order that prohibits government mandated vaccine passports in Texas. We will continue to vaccinate more Texans and protect public health. And we will do so without treading on Texans' personal freedoms. Further south in Smithfield, Virginia, response to vaccine passports is mixed. It's good for the society to get better. They should. And we can open up again this economy that is really in need. I think in a way it's a good idea and it's a bad idea. I mean, if you can prove it, then yeah but it's kind of like an invasion of privacy. Delta Airlines recently mandated vaccinations for all new employees in the U.S. As for passengers, airlines don't require vaccines or passports, although many are considering digital versions for scanning that would carry specific health information. I think it would be, we should have some kind of a vaccine passport. I like to travel internationally, and it would be nice to be able to demonstrate that I am, in fact, vaccinated. Other businesses could follow suit, according to a survey by the Rockefeller Foundation and Arizona State University. Overall, 88% of the employers surveyed plan to require or encourage employee vaccinations. Of that number, 60% will require proof of vaccination. According to the EEOC, employers can legally make this requirement while providing exceptions for those with a medical or religious accommodation. This fall, a number of campuses, including Yale, Georgetown, and University of California, will make vaccinations mandatory. God wants me to be healthy, and I don't want to put those kind of chemicals and toxins inside my body. Jackie Gale, a sophomore at the University of Alabama, Birmingham, has never received any vaccine for religious reasons. For some reason, she was blocked from registering for classes this semester. Recently, I finished my first year. I was allowed to um, live on campus, um, attend classes. While Gail's attorney says the school has since lifted the hold and is working to allow her to take classes again, she points out that her client's religious exemption should be respected and protected. So the university has uh, lifted the hold. Uh, we're still in ongoing conversation with them at First Liberty and waiting for them to really confirm that she's not going to have this issue again. Uh, they did allow her to register all last year during her freshman year. We're trying to get them to confirm that they do honor religious exemptions, put that in their policy, a written policy, just like they acknowledge medical exemptions. They need to acknowledge the religious liberty exemptions, too. And um, we want to make sure she's not going to have this problem throughout her experience at UAB. Meanwhile, some evangelical colleges are also encouraging students get the vaccine, with Seattle Pacific University actually adopting a mandate that students be vaccinated before starting school in the fall. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.